Hi there, Madra here, creator of madrabell.com and author of My God is Lyrical. I'm back with another video to encourage your faith and motivate your day. Stay tuned. Another characteristic of a chosen person by God is that you're going to have a natural tendency to, you love to see people succeed. You love to see people do well. It does not make you feel threatened or insecure. You're not jealous of people. You want to see them increase and do well. And a lot of people around you just don't understand that because a lot of people, they they have insecurities and they don't want to see other people do well because they feel like that's taking a blessing from them or that's dimming the light on their accomplishments and it's, it's simply not like that. God creates all of us with gifts and talents and abilities and he has a place and a purpose for everyone. That's why you can shine and you know you don't have to be afraid of shining. You don't have to be afraid of who you are but as a chosen one of God or someone that God favors you're going to have a lot of jealousy about that and you may not understand why because as you're pushing other people and as you're rooting for other people you pray a lot for others they may not even know it you may fast for them you pray for them and um those same people can turn around and it, it almost seems like they turn against you that's a sure sign that you're chosen by god um you experience a lot of high level warfare warfare that people uh, the average person may not experience and when you begin to share it with them they think you're lying they think you want attention they think you're making it up because it just sounds so preposterous it just sounds like you're making it up you may and i'll give you an example you may have a lot of witchcraft attacks a lot of Christians don't believe in witchcraft. They don't want to hear about it. They don't want to talk about it. And when they hear other Christians or someone else who have had that experience, they feel like they're lying or they're making it up or they're being extreme. And you're not being extreme. It really does happen. There are people who practice dark magic in, a, in the occult in the world and they target Christians. That's just the way it is. It was that way in the Old Testament. There were a lot of sorceries and sorcerers and witches in the New Testament. And guess what? There still is today. And you may experience an unusual amount of attacks from witches. And you don't know why. That's a sure sign. And um, so you have ex unusual experiences, unusual warfare. You have great tendencies, great characteristics. You love people. You want to see them do well. Um, you receive a lot of jealousy and a lot of envy. Um, people try to overlook you. They try to ignore you. You give an idea. They want to act like it's not a big deal or it doesn't make any sense. And they'll turn around and steal that same idea and try to pass it off as their own. Um, you're the underdog in a, a lot of situations. But I want to remind you and encourage you that God says the last shall be first and the first shall be last. And there's going to come a time in your life when the devil's not going to be able to do anything about what God is doing in your life. You may go through some warfare. You may go through witchcraft. You may go through some unusual things. But there's going to come a time when you're going to wake up and you're going to realize that you're learning and you're gaining strength and anointing from all of the various things that you're going through. And what the devil or Satan or the enemy or the kingdom of darkness, which is very real, we're in a war, and they don't want you to know that, that you're gaining ground. You know, you may look like you're not getting ahead in the natural, but in the spirit, you're growing leaps and bounds. You're gaining more and more strength and anointing and power and fire from the Holy Spirit. So don't give up. Keep going. Keep praying. Keep fasting. Keep staying in the word of God. Don't throw in the towel. You know, a lot of chosen ones, um, they battle with the spirit of suicide. And that's, you know, it's an unusual topic, but it's a very relevant and real topic. They feel like they just don't want to go on. They feel like life is so bad, you know, like why even be here? 
And the fact of the matter is, God wants you here. That's why you were born. Don't throw in the towel. Don't don't um don't think about taking your life. You matter. You're valuable. Even if the people around you act like you don't, you just need to get to a point in a place to where you know you understand that God will replace those toxic relationships, those toxic situations, those toxic people, whatever you're going through. You got to give it to Him. You got to give yourself time. We all need time to grow and learn and get to where we need to be in the spirit and in the natural. You see people succeeding and making it and getting ahead, but you don't see what it's like behind the scenes. They go through things too. They don't want you to know that, but they're going through it too. We all have to work hard. We all have to go through hard things. We all have stories to tell. You know, that's why it's so important to be kind to people because you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they have gone through. They may not tell you about it. They may not whine about it all the time, but they have battles too. They've had to go through some things that are unmentionable, unthinkable, but God left you alive to be a chosen vessel to bring change in your family, in this earth, in your church, in your home, in your workplace. That's right. You are chosen by God to bring change and to bring the light of Christ to wherever he assigns you to be. Not everyone is going to be assigned to a pulpit to preach. Some people are going to be lights in their workplaces. Some people are going to bring change in their churches. They're going to break up a lot of religion and religious spirits that are in churches. And, you know, they think they're doing the right thing. And they don't understand that God prefers relationship over religion. So it doesn't matter where God places you. Just know that you matter, you're important, and that you're chosen by God to be a vessel of change and you're being empowered, you're growing, and you're getting ahead even if it doesn't look like it. All you have to do is practice the principles. You remember those principles we were talking about? Those spiritual keys that Jesus gave us, and one of them is consistency. And if you keep going, if you don't give up, something good is gonna change. And you're gonna show God that you are dependable. You know, you're going to show him that you're serious. You're going to show him that your faith is golden. And he's going to continue to elevate you and to get you to the exact place where he wants you to be. So, yes, you are chosen by God. And that's a good thing. And you are God's creation. He has a plan for you. He loves you. Don't throw in the towel. Don't think about taking your life. Don't sleep on yourself. Don't give up on God because he will not give up on you. Take care. Talk soon.